Hey guys, Codeman here. In today's video, I'm going to clean the M3 wheels. Uh, so I'm going to head and head over to one of my favorite shops local to me, grab some cleaning materials, and get going. Hey guys, just came back from the store. Uh, they were all out of the Sonex that I normally use, but they have this new stuff that they said works a lot better and reacts a lot quicker. So I'm going to go ahead and review that in this video. All right, guys, so here we are back at the car. Um, got all the gear ready to go. So I'm basically just doing one bucket today because I'm just doing wheels. Uh, I have my Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam. I usually use this inside of the uh, water blaster. So not gonna be doing that today, just real simple. And then I have my new wheel cleaner. And last but not least, a hose to rinse all the fun off. So let's start by grabbing the wheel cleaner and bringing it over to the very, very dirty wheels. And I basically just start shooting it on. And it should change colors like the uh, Sonax did. So I, I do a you know, pretty generous amount. Uh, sometimes maybe use a little bit more than some people, but I wanna make sure those wheels are clean. So I think that's a good amount. So we'll leave that. And you can already start to see it's turning the purple color. You know, you can see down here all the, uh, the dirt and debris and just chemicals that are on these wheels from all the driving that I've been doing. So you can now really start to see it's starting to get really dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for, uh, I think the bottle here says, so focus this, two to four minutes uh, until the product changes color. Of course, it is already starting to change color quite a bit. Uh, this actually looks pretty cool, you know? So yeah, we're just gonna, sit here and wait. I uh, do one wheel at a time just to make sure that I don't let this stuff sit on the wheels too long. Uh, so far I will say compared to the Sonex, this seems to really really be getting purple. Um, the Sonex didn't get so purple. Also can see that it kind of changed the uh, the rotor color a little bit. Not sure if that's a problem but looks interesting nonetheless. And yeah so I'm gonna head and grab the hose and wash this off. Sorry guys, so now I got the hose and I'm basically just going to rinse the wheels off. You know, there's just spraying that stuff on. I mean, I haven't done anything. I haven't even touched the wheels. All I did was spray the stuff on, let it eat away, and then just shot it with the hose. So now what I'm going to do is fill up the bucket. I have an easy detail brush, uh, both of which I got from Amazon. I'll try to throw a link in the description. I have another wheel brush that kind of gets in uh, I'm not going to touch it just yet but it kind of gets in the spokes and around and really just the biggest thing is to make sure that you keep everything nice and uh, nice and damp you know just so that you don't have any finish issues so I'll go ahead and do this with one hand grab the snow foam get that going go over here and grab the hose mess here and just to make my life easier go ahead and bring <clears throat> excuse me go ahead and bring the bucket closer and get those guys in there uh, normally if I'm doing a full wash I'll do a three bucket wash but I'm just doing wheels so I don't have any mitts or anything and basically you know what you do is you just grab this guy first and get in there and start working the, the spokes uh, don't use a ton of pressure because you are getting brake dust and everything off. You know, so just nice and gentle. And really all you're doing is you're just agitating it so that it comes off in the next spray. And I'm not going to do all four wheels on camera because, I mean, it is, <laughs> it's more of the same. So there's no sense watching a 10 minute video on guy cleaning wheels. So go ahead and throw that back in the bucket. And accidentally threw the hose. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this again. I'm going to focus on the top for right now so you can see that, you know, I've just done the inside of the spokes and it's, it's looking a lot better. So I'll get here and go and do the top of the spokes or the fronts. 
go around the wheel, the outer rim part. This is also a good time to inspect for any nicks or dents or, God forbid, any cracks. Because uh, you're pretty close to the wheel, so you definitely have an opportunity to really see what your situation is. So now you can really start to see they are nice and, you know, I shouldn't say nice and clean, but they're getting clean. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up this wheel and I'll be back in just a second. All right, so here we go. Uh, pretty much cleaned up. Just got a couple of little small spots to work on. So I'll go ahead and show you the rest of the wheels, kind of get a comparison. Uh, the rear wheels on this car don't get too dirty. Haven't even touched these yet. Uh, I'll shoot them with the wheel cleaner and do the whole process again. So go around the back. Same deal, wheel doesn't get too dirty. But these wheel, uh, the front wheels on the other hand, as you saw on the other side, I mean, this is what I'm cleaning off. And believe it or not, this isn't a lot of driving. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of the wheels. And the Z is still here. All right, car's all washed. Decided to do everything. I uh, just have to dry it off. And she's good for another, I don't know, I usually wash it every other week. Sometimes once a week if, it's super bu if I'm super busy driving a lot. Uh, but I haven't been going to too many car shows, but it's been so busy. But hopefully this weekend I'll be going to one, so I'll have some footage from that. Hopefully that was informative. Uh, if you have any questions or any uh, insight or anything, maybe something I could use different, or if you have any comments on what I used in the video, I'll put a link to the description and all the products. I appreciate you checking it out. Hopefully it was informative for you. Uh, like the video, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you guys in the next video.